A planetary civilization or global civilization is a civilization of type 1 on Kardashev scale, with energy consumption levels near that of a contemporary terrestrial civilization with an energy capability equivalent to the solar insulation on Earth between 1016 and 1017 watts. In social aspect, the worldwide, global, increasingly interconnected, international, highly technological society. Planetary civilization, type 1 civilization on Kardashev scale Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in a work, "'Transmission of Information by Extraterrestrial Civilizations'", published in 1964, proposed the scale of technological development of civilization, based on the amount of energy that civilization is able to utilize, then named Kardashev scale. A type 1 civilization is planetary, consuming all energy that is available from a neighboring star, or about 1,017 watts. A type 2 civilization is stellar, consuming all the energy that their star emits, or 1,027 watts. A type 3 civilization is galactic, consuming the energy of billions of stars, or about 1,037 watts. Carl Sagan suggested defining intermediate values not considered in Kardashev's original scale by interpolating and extrapolating. According to his calculations, the modern state of the present human civilization is expressed by a value about 0.7. Transition to a planetary civilization Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, in a book, Physics of the Future, published in 2011, stated that humans with an average economic growth may attain planetary civilization status in 100 years. However, if we were to be able to exponentially increase our development, our planet may attain planetary civilization status much sooner. This means we can see evidence of this everywhere we go. The Internet is the beginning of planetary telecommunication system. The European Union is the beginning of a Type 1 economy. English will probably be the planetary language, as you can go anywhere on the planet Earth and the educated already speak English and are bilingual. Also, on the Internet, the number one language is English, followed by Mandarin. A planetary culture is emerging, based on youth culture hip-hop, rock, and youth fashion, movies, Hollywood blockbusters, high fashion, luxury goods. That same kind of culture, youth culture, the culture of the rich, is now going around the planet Earth. You see the beginning of planetary sports, the Olympics, soccer games. Realize that in the old days, you had competition between tribes. Now we have games not just between small provinces, but games that envelop the entire planet Earth. We are currently at a minus one type civilization because our Earth is being depleted with no clean energy being used enough. While the rich get richer, the economy in most countries are restricted, more than 80% of people are making less than $10 a day. Rich people worldwide fail to invest in its people or majority. So, we are losing at progressing or advancing as a species. But where is all this technological change leading? Where is the final destination in this long voyage into science and technology? The culmination of all these upheavals is the formation of planetary civilization, what physicists call a type 1 civilization. This transition is perhaps the greatest transition in history, marking a sharp departure from all civilizations of the past. Every headline that dominates the news reflects, in some way, the birth pangs of the planetary civilization. Commerce, trade, culture, language, entertainment, leisure activities, and even war are all being revolutionized by the emergence of this planetary civilization. Topic. Danger of a transition to a planetary civilization Michio Kaku, in his interview, Will Mankind Destroy Itself? with the website, Big Think, discusses a danger of a transition to a planetary civilization. The danger period is now, because we still have the savagery, but we also have nuclear weapons. So whenever I open the newspaper every headline I see in the newspaper points to the birth pangs of a Type 1 civilization information. However, every time I open the newspaper I also see the opposite trend as well. What is terrorism? Terrorism in some sense is a reaction against the creation of a Type 1 civilization. Now most terrorists cannot articulate this. They don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, but what they're reacting to is not modernism. What they're reacting to is the fact that we're headed toward a multicultural tolerant scientific society and that is what they don't want. 
They don't want science. They want a theocracy. They don't want multiculturalism. They want monoculturalism. So instinctively they don't like the march toward a type 1 civilization. Now which tendency will win? I don't know, but I hope that we emerge as a type 1 civilization. Topic. In science fiction Planetary civilizations are various civilizations we see in science fiction. Michio Kaku qualifies as one of a typical Type 1 civilization would be that of Buck Rogers or Flash Gordon, where an entire planet's energy resources have been developed. They can control all planetary sources of energy, so they might be able to control or modify the weather at will, harness the power of a hurricane, or have cities on the oceans. Although they roam the heavens in rockets, their energy output is still largely confined to a planet. Topic. Next status, stellar civilization On the Kardashev scale, the next status is type II civilization, where a civilization consumes all the energy that their star emits, or about 1,027 watts. Michio Kaku in a book, Physics of the Future, suggests that humans may attain stellar civilization status in a few thousand years. Topic. See also Nikolai Kardashev Nugenesis <laughs>